Right, sorry about that. I was just um, wondering who um, flagged me there. Because I heard a blip and I was like, who's flagging me now? Right, let's go and make another one of those. <clears throat> now, some people I've seen have actually made quite multiple of these and quite a few of these, like more than three, isn't that? Or some of them will just stick to just one because um, it all depends. I'm going to just keep with two for now. And let's go with making something. Uh, let's max this out. Looks like I've got a lot of copper. So let's make some. Um, let's go and max that out and craft that. And then we make some. Wait a minute. I forgot the essential parts. I forgot to make myself a campfire. I did forget to make myself a campfire, didn't I? Can I make a campfire? Or do I need to use this to make a campfire? Well, I can make that, so I'll get that early. Luckily, it just doesn't take long. So, let's go and get that. Got my fishing rod. Repair station. That's always handy to have. There's my campfire. Let's go and make one of these. Also, it's very important to actually have a campfire. Now, you can either have two or three, but I'll choose to have one of these because the that's all I'm going to need, really, because the cooking pot will do a bit most of the thing. Actually, let's keep this organised, shall we? Uh, actually, can we put this fire outside? Yes, we can. It's a campfire. Got to think of um, safety, you know? Let's take you. But, yeah, like I said, see how easy it always Just, you know, go about... Building stuff, making all this and that. You know, it's quick as anything, simple as pie. And as you go along, you can actually make things like windows and such like that. So if you're worried about, you know, your house not looking at all nice or anything like that, you want some windows for your house, or it's looking a bit kind of like on the mess side and you just want it to look better and such. Well, don't worry, as you evolve, you can actually make that happen. It just um, takes a little bit while and a little bit of... Um... Ah, right. Let's go and pick that up. Wait, did that just turn into a fence? Huh? No. Yeah. Right, let's go and put that down. It's a pity I can't get rid of this grass. I need a lawnmower. Just gonna put that there. And it should be, yeah. Right, um let's go and leave this as an opening so that way we can do this and that. Now um that's for the fire. Let's see. Literally you can put um anything on here usually. You, I mean if you want to make charcoal, you can actually put this there to make charcoal. And obviously you can just wait out there. But charcoal is also handy for when you want to make things like a, for example, where is it? Now you can make the furniture piece, I may as well make that. And I may as well make the other thing that I can craft. I'll show you in a bit, it won't take me long. It's for the um, cooking pot, because you need stone and charcoal for that. Um, for this you need bone. Um, I've got the bone, got the log, it's just the iron ingot. That's the thing I need. And the only way for me to get iron is for me to make a copper pickaxe. Yes. I had to think there. Also, another thing that's important to this game is... Um, where is it? Not the Harry. Where is it? Potion. That's important too. Where's the... Um... Oh yeah, wheat field is an important thing. Because it's important to grow your wheat and that. But another thing that's important is the market. That's important because it helps you like sell your items that you don't need and get more gold and such. So that's another important thing. And I don't have enough log. Very well. I just cut. I just punched a tree. Then time for some deforestation. And the best part is the resources are plentiful. It gives you um, a whole lot of resources. You actually do have to watch your stamina. You do have to mind that. And again, this game is not 100% perfect because it's still a work in progress still. They're still working on it and that. Again, by the time I put this video out, they'll probably have done more to it to improve it and such. But yeah, if I was to say, is it worth the money to get? I'd say, yes it is. Because for 
the price I paid, which was £20, it's definitely worth the money, because it's definitely extremely good, I'll say, in my opinion. I mean, yes, at first, I was a bit hesitant in getting it, because I was like, oh, I don't know, oh, would it be something I'll continue to play and such like that, but then that's like a silly question for me to actually ask, because of course I'm going to be playing it, because it's like plain arc, really. So the answer is yes. And what do I do to put this now? That's the furniture station. Ah, furniture station. That's another good thing. Because if I am not mistaken, you can make yourself windows with this. So I'm just trying to make sure it's straight. So let's have a little look-see. Where can you make these um, windows? Ah, archways, windows. There we go. So let's go and make eight those and craft those. We only need about ten. So let's go and take those. Um, oh, saving. All right, let's go and take this wall down. And we go and take this wall. Hmm. Why don't we just go and put a woody platform out there. So it can be like, yeah, that will work. And then we have... Alright, this is the hard part, putting a fence down in the right position because it doesn't snap on like some of the other games does. It just, you have to sort of like be accurate. So if you like me, wanting things to look nice and tidy, sometimes you have to be a bit... Well, you have to just time it just right. Well, it's not going to be perfect, but still... Oh, it looks not that bad. I will go to another world in a bit. Just um, bear me two ticks. Because I've got to make um, myself a copper axe as well. Actually, that's not right. That does. See, I'm quite a fussy e person when it comes to this game. I was going to put a window here, but I thought, no, this would make um, an excellent um, balcony thing yeah that's a bit better what well, do i put a window here and i will put one here there you go one two stone windows yes it's a bit um out in the color part but hey it still looks a okay to me i'm not sure if i should have eaten that mushroom And also, the good part is you can actually snap a wall up here. And. Let's go and. Um... Oh, yeah, I was meant to make a market, wasn't I? Or did I make one already? Let's have a look, see. Yes, I did. See? Glad I looked. And also, nothing I want to make is a door. Uh, stone door frame. Even the doors you have to actually put in yourself because they don't snap in. It's just like, yeah, you just got to put them in and hope that they actually fit in right. Even though, yes, they do and such like that, but it's just, you have to make sure that they're accurate on. I also need to make um, more, um, what do you call it? I need to make more storage chests. So what I'm going to do is going to wait till I get some steel or iron. And in that way, I can actually make myself... Where is the... Is it on the smithy part? Let's have a look. Well, at least you know you can make your copper shields, iron shields, silver shields, copper sword. Would you believe that the, the um, um, gold sword is actually a lot more powerful than the titanium sword in this? I know. Incredible, right? Oh yeah, to make plain clothes, if you want to make plain clothes for yourself, you could, you just need one leather, five old rags. Leather's easy to get because you can get them from animals. Or if you prefer to be a nudist, um, just go around nudie, then by all means. Now then, let's go and get my charcoal because I'm going to need that. Also, where do I put my market? Because that's been waiting to put down. That's also important. The good thing is you don't always need a foundation to put things on. You could just park them up here and there you go. And with the market, you can just literally put your stuff in and it will sell. Yeah, that won't sell for much, but still. You're still going to get, you know, some form of money out from it. Uh, you can even sell these and that. 
even though you know it's important to keep some things but sometimes every little helps in that especially if it's to build up your thing and such i mean if you want to get rid of the walls or even that you know you can actually just make that amount it's not a lot but still but as time goes on it will become a lot and i would probably need to move that out the way so let's go and put that somewhere see it's best to keep organized here there we go yeah then what else do i need i need a copper axe so let's go and craft that oh yeah let's go and craft my pot because i'm going to need that for when i make other things because you can actually mix ingredients like with most um, games but for that for you to mix things you're obviously going to need a cooking pot for that so let's go and put the cooking pot over here Oop. there we go and i love the simplicity of it all it's like very cartoony very very nice and such i do actually like it. and here it makes it a lot more easy for you to actually make things like for example if you want to make water you need 30 buckets for just a glass of water uh you want to make wheat you just need a sorry it's for wheat flour isn't it yes it is if you want to make um, wheat flour you need two bits of wheat and that's going to be yeah, another thing i need to grow because that's going to be needed for my next evolution um it's the same with water if you want to make water just get 30 buckets to make one glass of water and etc etc and obviously if you want to make flour cooking you can make that but however that has a very negative effect as you can see there it's in the red and it's like yeah best not to make that it's best to make the ones that have a more you know positive effect and as you get more things as you go along you can actually make all these so it is pretty pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy hmm i might need to make a wheat thing actually at some point so anyway, let's go and get my metal. Actually, also, if you want to transport to other worlds, it's pretty simple. All you have to do to open worlds is give it materials, and they give you access to new worlds. And, I ain't got enough logs, but every world requires different materials sometimes. Sorry, the more higher the world is, the more you're going to need, like, for example, you're going to need, like, a thousand coin and steel ingots and logs and such but with this ones these are like just logs and such so it's makes things a lot more it, it gets a little bit more demanding as it goes up but it's not too demanding it's pretty much simple basic stuff and such like that and i like it it's actually quite nice in fact very nice actually and also what am i going to need for the steel chest Let's go and um, get some copper ore. That's I was after the iron ore, but still, and I'm pretty sure that um, those foxes ran off because I heard a fox noise. Also, if you collect 50 water gun parts from these things, you can actually make a water pistol. I know, crazy. Huh? Mm. I thought it was iron, but it's not. Oh, of course, the colour that night is um, yeah, yeah, yeah. At least it gets my level up. Ah, no, that's copper ore. Places where you want to get more iron from and such like that, uh, like we, sorry, the best places to get more iron from and more titanium from is the desert areas usually has them, from what I um, gathered. Um, this area is good for its um, iron and um, other things in that. And it's good for our starting area. And the f also the best thing is you can actually build more than one base as well, like naturally. So if you move on to another island, you can actually just build a base there. And it's highly recommended, I'll say. And you can build it to how you want, how far you want. And that's at later stage when you get flying vehicles, you can actually fly around the islands and such. What I'll do is for um, every video, I'll just do a recording of um, different islands and different evolutions. And obviously, naturally, you're going to see me go back and forth so when i go to the next island it'd be on the next video and such but when i um let's see yeah so when i go on to the next island, it'll be on the next video and it's same thing with that one so that way you get a full idea of what's on each island so you get the full idea of what's on the beginner's island and also you get a full idea of what not to do here as well because you can lose money at least you don't lose your items but still 
it's important to get hold of your money. But, um, obviously you start back here. And I can see my house up there. But, um, yeah. So what I'll do is, um, with every video I'll just basically, um, do a lot of episodes from, you know, different islands and such like that. But obviously I will go back and forwards in some of the videos and that. So you will see a lot of back and forward. But every time when I go to a new line, it'll obviously be like, you know, next chapter there, here and there and such like that. That way it breaks it up and it says you're going through the whole half hour or hour or so. Um, but back to the game. Yeah, it, it, like I said, it is quite simple. It? And by all means, make sure you have um, a sword on you. Don't do what I did and try and take on a skeleton with a pickaxe because you're just going to end up getting your backside handed to you. You want eggs, you basically just attack a chicken. Come here. And it gives, gives you an egg and a feather. Cows give you milk and meat. Skeletons give you bone, but if you attack other creatures like in the desert, uh, some of them will give you things like um, hide and such. Also, it's important to use um, your pickaxe on here to get some straw, because I believe that will be ne necessary for when um, you do some plantation to get some wheat. But yeah, you see how simple this game is and such like that. And it is quite nice and easy to um, get into. I mean, even just gathering this and such. 